So I wanted to do a quick video about this build, uh, calling it the Fearless Edition ZMR250. Um, basically, I've taken some extra carbon from uh, from an older ZMR that I blew up. Um, basically, what happened on that machine, the bottom plate broke here. It's fairly common. I've seen some other people do it. Um, 7 Demo 7 broke his in the same place. Um, so this time around, I ordered a new frame and uh, the Overcraft PDB from Team Legit. Um, when I put it together this time, since you get the PDB, you get an extra plate here for the bottom plate. And I put them together, and then I put the spare arm set that I had together. What I end up with is double width plate here and double width carbon arms and these are six mil three and three um, which basically amounts to the same as the blackout fearless arms which is where I came up with the uh, <laughs> the fearless moniker but um, anyway so this build obviously not quite finished yet so I'm not sure um, how it's gonna fly it added about 25 grams um, in the carbon and then about another almost 20 grams um, with this PDB um, but what I I did shave a quite a bit of um, weight off on the wiring um, of the PDB so it comes out pretty clean um, this, these overcraft boards are pretty awesome uh, but please don't judge my my motor wiring here uh, this is temporary I'm probably not going to keep these motors I've got a set of uh, sunny, sunny sky 2100 uh, 2700 sorry series 2100 kV motors um, those are destined for this build uh, but so I'm going to fly these until they get here uh, so if you're building one of these already great resources I, did, I didn't want to do a build video um, 7 demo 7 does a, a good overview of building up um, this overcraft board with the NASI um, flight controller um, also Team Legit does another one so I mean there's plenty of them out there um, but what I did want to show is just like I said the, the toughening up of this thing so I've also done some other things to toughen it up I've added um, 6 mil standoffs between the boards um, and you know tighten those down um, that's gonna help take impacts and distribute it um, like I said I think last time I kinda hit it like that and sheared the ended up shearing the board here the uh, the bottom plate so anyway hopefully some of those things won't happen on this one I'd like to uh, spend a little more timing time flying a little less time building so that's the goal with this guy this is going to be my last cheap frame I think after this I'm, uh, if this one doesn't go well I'm uh, going to look towards getting something a little more uh, reputable these ZMRs people have had mixed results with them and uh, I think I'm, I'm at the point in my <laughs> my flying where I'm, I'm ready to go and uh, spend a little more on a, a better frame and, and see if that helps with uh, you know some of my taking the brunt of some of my unpredicted landings. Um, anyway, I hope that uh, gives some people some ideas. I mean, these you know extra arms are ten bucks a pair, if that, um, on Banggood and on eBay, and um, like I said, if you order this set with the PDB, you get an extra plate here anyway. Um, but you can order these in, in sets of two on Banggood also for like 15 bucks or something. So, and those are Canadian prices. Um, <laughs> so anyway, not too bad um, to toughen this thing up. I think uh, I think it'll be worth it. Let's see. Let's see how it crashes.